my GP is not totally dismissive of ADHD, although at the same time, the doctor is a little bit dismissive. And I think we'll never solve these conundrums or these disagreements in our society and in medicine. Can you just speak to that dismissiveness and also the over association of symptoms? Oh, I must have ADHD um, or that person must have ADHD and, and how we rush sometimes in either direction. Yeah. So when I was in medical school, I, I guess there was probably one lecture about ADHD in a psychiatry unit, but I honestly can't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, your average psychiatry resident who trains in Canada, it's five years in the US, it's four years unless they specialize, um, would get six months of child psychiatry and probably have some exposure to ADHD and maybe have one or two lectures on it. Adult ADHD just starting to be introduced, but it's not much better now than it was 20 something years ago when I finished medical school, right? So we're not teaching enough. I think depression is understood. Obviously, schizophrenia, bipolar is understood. We're making inroads into the stigma and misunderstanding with mental illness. Um, but ADHD, it still sort of feels like, excuse me, the stereotype of the kid who's too hyper and takes pills. That's ADHD. If right. you're a doctor, if you're a therapist, if you're an accountant, if you're a teacher, if you're, you know, just try harder, right? You're fine. <laughs> You know, I tried hard. I get distracted sometimes too. And I try hard and look, I can do fine. Why don't you do it too, right? Pull your socks up. And, you know, we were talking a bit before uh, you and I, before the interview that sometimes it seems like there's a big rush to get diagnosis. And sometimes it seems doctors are so reluctant. And I think there's a really interesting, you use the word paradox. It's a really interesting paradox where on the one hand, it is in many times overdiagnosed or rushed to diagnosis. And at other places, other times, it is completely underdiagnosed. And it's sort of a weird situation. And I don't really think the research suggests it's actually overdiagnosed, but that's what people okay. believe. Okay. Yes, um, yes, they do. Yeah. And, you know, there, there will always, I, I often see news stories. I've stopped paying quite as much attention, at least since the pandemic, but there would be news stories out of different countries like, shocking, the prescription rate for adults with ADHD has doubled. I'm like, yeah, it's gone from 0.2% to 0.4%. And reliable research shows it's almost 3% or, or thereabouts of adults who have ADHD. So at least we're making a little progress. Good job, not enough. But meanwhile, the press is trying to make it seem into right, seem like it's a right. big pharmaceutical conspiracy, right? So yes, yes, yes. I think, you know, in my experience, unless, you know, in my child psychiatry training, I got interested in in child psychiatry, obviously, I seemed to mesh well with the kids with ADHD. I got along well. I liked working with them. No surprise. We <laughs> think the same way. I didn't realize it at the time, but uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to spend a year training with one of Canada's top ADHD researchers, right, Dr. Rushless Shacker at Sick Kids. So um, I got great training and experience with ADHD, but most doctors don't, even in psychiatry, right? So, um, oh my gosh. I just lost my train of thought. Where were we going? Overdiagnosis. Overdiagnosis. Over right, right. So most doctors don't realize it. I find doctors become a lot more comfortable with ADHD when they're, they have a family member diagnosed or they have a patient who was high functioning. They don't really believe they had ADHD, but some specialist said so. And then they see the dramatic improvement, right? Somebody that they believe just has a drug and alcohol problem. And then the ADHD gets diagnosed. They do their therapy and they work it through. And all of a sudden they're feeling better, functioning better. And the difference is dramatic, so much better than if they hadn't diagnosed ADHD. That's when doctors start to become quote believers, right? right? And it's, right. it's awful. This is the thing because you know, this isn't like a religion. You don't have to like, like ideally it's science, right? Like, like this is a real condition. There's a ton of research there. We know what it is. We know many of the genetic and brain issues, though that's a whole other big frontier to discover. We know treatments that help therapy, medicine. You don't have to like believe in it as if you believe in God or Christ or Allah or something. It's, it's a scientific thing, right? So, but still, even though doctors are theoretically men and women of science or people of science, it's still sometimes takes belief change, right? Mm -hmm.